Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. It's so good to see you. You look fantastic. So I know that it is February. We are a couple days into February now and it is a bit late to be doing this, but I finally hopped on the bandwagon and finally got my crap together. Finally, I'm getting my life straight and we're here to talk about my 2022 vision board and goals. Yes, I know that again, we're in February. You typically talk about this in January, but better late than never. Um, I'm just gonna say I have had a very rough January so far. Uh, January was just a rough month for me. And after January was over, I'm like, all right, girlfriend, we got to get our life together. What are we doing? So here we are. I finally got my 2022 vision board done. And I'm also here to talk about some goals for 2022 as well. So we're just going to roll right into it and uh, let's get started. So first off, here is what the vision board looks like. It is all over the place, but I love it. It's all over the place like me and my life. And I am here for it. So we're just going to start at the top corner and make our way down to the bottom. So up in the top left corner is YouTube and hello, you're here. Welcome. Uh, something happened recently that made me kind of get my gears back going in my head saying, all right, we got to get back on the social media train and we got to get the ball rolling. So we got to get recording YouTube videos again and we got to get serious about it. So here we are. Right below that is some sparkle. That was honestly just some filler, but you can never go wrong with some sparkle. Then right next to it is a glass of water. One of my goals for 2022 is to drink as much water as I can. I stopped soda this year. It has been a month and uh, four days. It's Friday the 4th right now recording. It has been a month and four days without soda. I'm doing good. I didn't start craving soda until a couple days ago. So it's starting to get kind of a little bit more difficult, but I'm gonna keep pushing through and I'm gonna stick on this no soda thing. So just water and the occasional sweet tea, lemonade, stuff like that, no soda. Okay, then next to that is two different uh, office looks. One of my goals is to set up like an office area so I can do my editing, where I can work on the blog, where I can edit pictures and stuff like that. That is one of my, oh, sorry. I just got paid for a brand deal, so. <laughs> oh gosh, I was just bumped the camera. Oh my gosh. But that was so cool. I just got paid for my first brand deal. Ah! Oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, back to the office setup. I'm hoping to get something set up so I can just have like a place where I can sit down and work on all of my social media and stuff like that. Then right above that says Instagram. That's another thing that I really want to focus on this year. I really want to start posting on my Instagram more and maybe getting some partnerships there as well. So Instagram is another thing that I'm really, really hoping to focus on. Then below that in the white box, it says W-I-K-K. -K. And if you don't know, I am a morning show DJ. I'm a radio host for a classic rock station, 103.5 The Eagle, W-I-K-K. -K. And one of my focuses this year is to really focus on making a good show all around, making my show even better and bringing in a bigger audience. So uh, if you want, I'll go ahead and leave the link for our app down below if you want to download it. And you can listen to me from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern time. So that's whatever my show is. If you want to just hop on and listen to it whenever you get the chance. <laughs> then right above that is a camera. My goal this year is to get a new nice vlogging camera. That is my goal. Another one of my goals for this year is to really focus on the quality of my YouTube videos as well. So that is another thing that I'm hoping to do. Then below that, 
take care of your mind. That is one of the things that really made me start and want to do this and this and just everything all together. Like I said, I had a really rough January. Mentally, physically, I had COVID again. I really struggled mentally. I I just really started to see myself really badly and it was not good. I just really struggled with self-consciousness and my self-esteem and it just really kind of snowballed and went downhill and I finally just said, you gotta wake up. You're, you're freaking amazing. What are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, I won't go into too much detail, but it was just really bad mentally. And so I said, we gotta take care of the mind. We've got to get those bad thoughts out, good thoughts in only. Then above that, 1K. My goal is to hit a thousand followers on any platform. And I'm so close on my Instagram and my TikTok. So they're right here. Also, they are down in the description. So if you would just please go give me a follow over on Instagram or TikTok or subscribe here on YouTube. My goal is to just hit a thousand followers on any platform this year. So again, fingers crossed, that's my goal. Then below that is a crown. And that is a secret project that we're working on. Um, it has been in the works for a few months. I can't announce it right now because like I said, we're still in the works, but once it finally comes time to announce, I'm, I cannot wait to announce it. I'm just, I'm so excited. Then beside that, we've got the crescent pose. I think that's what it's called. Crescent moon pose. Anyway, I'm hoping to get some more yoga into my life. Lately, I just started doing yoga of a night and, oh man, I love evening yoga. Look up nighttime yoga and it is it's going to change your life. So my goal is to not only just do some yoga, but to just kind of get myself in a little bit better shape because um, I am a bit fluffy. So <laughs> that is just kind of a goal. Just kind of take care of my body. And I'm not saying I need to be like super slim, but just kind of need to tighten up this midsection a little bit. Then below that, we've got travel. I am traveling to Florida in two weeks to go get Jarrett and bring him back here. And him and I are hoping to go on some couples trips over this year. So travel's in there just so we can take some trips over this year and really enjoy ourselves and have some fun. Then next to that is the world. Whenever I was going through my mental health struggles, I also started getting really depressed at how our world is right now. There's a lot of hate in the world. There's a lot of destruction. There's just a lot of really bad things going on in the world. So another one of my goals for this year is to try and spread as much positivity and as much good for this world as I can. And I'm hoping that in the future I can do some really big projects here. In April is, if you didn't know, April is Keep America Beautiful Month. And whenever I was Miss White Squirrel back in high school, we had a national cleanup day where we just cleaned up trash all over town. And in April, I'm hoping to start a really, really big cleanup project. So fingers crossed that I can actually accomplish that. And so I'll be looking forward to that too. But overall this year, I just really want to help our world because it is just it's it's scary right now not even just you know with pollution and everything like that but just who we are as people too um the world's starting to get really evil and scary and so my goal is to try and push out as much positive into the world as i can so that's another thing that i'm hoping to accomplish this year just get some major projects underway to just help this world out as much as I can. Okay, moving on, we have the beautiful girl with her lush, ugh, with her luscious hair. Um, if you haven't noticed, my hair is definitely kind of in an awkward phase right now. Um, 
It's been months since I've dyed it. My roots are growing out. But the plan was that after I dyed my hair dark, I was going to go back to my natural color. So I'm, just, I'm letting it grow out. And my winter color is so much darker than I remember it being. So again, it's just kind of an awkward phase. So this year is just kind of focus on my hair health and just getting it back healthy. And post COVID hair loss was a for real thing. I lost so much hair. I mean, I'd be in the shower and I would lose clumps of hair at a time. So my hair is so much thinner than it used to be just because I lost so much hair due to COVID. And uh, so that was interesting. <laughs> so next we have this girl in a super cute outfit. Another thing that I'm hoping to do this year, uh, I wanna start dressing super cute. Obviously not following suit right now. Um, I'm in a sweatshirt, but also, we have a uh, a snow day outside. There's a snow plow. How perfect was that? Doesn't get much better than that. But uh, so I'm just soaking in this snow day and taking in total relaxation mode. But um, I've been working on dressing nicer every day instead of looking uh, somewhat homeless. So <laughs> be looking forward to some Sheen hauls in the future as well. Sheen and Amazon hauls. So yeah, we look forward to that. Then next there is a little tiny picture under Inspire that is someone holding money. Uh, I really wanna focus on my financial health as well this year. Uh, I'm working on budgeting and saving money because Jarrett and I are planning to spend the rest of our lives together and we need to start saving up now for our future. So that's what we've been doing and I've just been getting better at budgeting. And so another thing I'm focusing on this year is money and a budget. Then below that, it says you and me. Another thing that I'm wanting to focus on this year is Jarrett and I and our relationship. He moves back in two weeks and we're gonna be spending a lot of time together and we're gonna have to kind of readjust our relationship because we've been long distance for a year and a half and it's going to be different getting used to seeing each other every day and just being a regular couple instead of a long distance couple so we're wanting to really focus on us and strengthening our relationship this year as well so then moving on to inspire i want to inspire and i want to put out a message now what that message is yet i don't know and my spirit guides and god uh, it'll come to me eventually. I've just got to be patient and wait and see what that message is. And it'll come. And when it does come, we'll have our message. But it's not there yet. I do want to inspire. I've just got to figure out what my purpose is. Then under that is a library and I have really wanted to start reading more and also at night I've been having a really hard time sleeping so lately I've been shutting down all my electronics an hour before bed and reading and I actually have four new books that uh or actually three I lied only three because this fourth one is a cookbook <laughs> I've got three books that I'm looking so forward to reading and uh, I'm just super excited to do that. So reading more this year is also a top priority. Below that is a little sign that says, you got this. And this is something that Jarrett says to me every day. I've contemplated what my first video back on this channel was gonna be. And I've contemplated, can I really do this social media thing? Because I've been trying since 2016 to get my YouTube channel going and to, you know, be noticed somehow. And I get so frustrated and deflated every time because the views, just aren't there sometimes. And then I get frustrated with myself because the views aren't there and it's just, it's hard sometimes. So he's always telling me, you got this babe, you got this baby. And so I'm telling myself, you got this, you can do this. Next, 
live stream. I would love to do some live streams here on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, wherever. I want to do live streams once I kind of get, you know, my audience going because I know there's not a whole lot of you right now, but hopefully you'll share this with some friends and we'll get that audience rolling. I'm telling you right now, this channel is all about fun and being ourselves and being real and raw. And it's just, it's going to be a roller coaster, but it's going to be a good one and it's going to be worth it. So I hope you stick around and we're going to have some fun. Then beside that is a microphone, and again, that also ties back into the radio station, as well as maybe some podcasts in the future. We'll see. We've talked about podcasts in the past, and it's just trying to figure out what kind of a podcast to start, so we'll see. Then right above the microphone says confidence. Like I was talking about earlier, I've been struggling really hard mentally with my confidence and my self-esteem and so this year is just kind of build up that my body is great i am great i am amazing and i just have to realize that potential eventually you are golden i <laughs> i've been really attached to the golden girls lately every single day i would come over here growing up we'd watch the golden girls and it was just something that really tied me and my grandma together. And so just that little ode, you are golden, just kind of like, you're awesome. And don't let yourself get down because you're so much better than that. So that's kind of where that's coming from. Next to that, we've got a mixer. I want to bake this year. I want to become a better cook. So be looking forward to bake with me videos and cook with me videos. It's going to be a mess, but it's going to be a good mess. And I'm so freaking excited. And then finally, we've got um, some cleaning products. And another thing this year, I'm hoping to get more organized and have like a weekly cleaning schedule. I would also love to post clean with me videos here on YouTube. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. But um, I've got some new cleaning gadgets over the past couple of months. And uh, once we're finally done with the remodels, uh, it'll be a lot easier to get into, you know, the swing of cleaning every day and just keeping this house nice and organized and everything. So that is where that is coming from. And I think that is everything on my vision board. And right now it is actually the background on my laptop right now. So I can see it every day as a constant reminder to myself, Hey, you got this. This is your goal. And it's only February. We still got 10 more months to go. So we good. 11 technically. 11 technically. 10 and 10 and like three quarters. We got a lot of time to go. So this is your goal. And so that is my 2022 vision board and goal. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because it did get kind of long. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave me a big old thumbs up. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you are notified whenever I post another video so you never miss another one. Also, go ahead and leave me a comment down below on what videos you would like to see on this channel in the future and if you're new or not. So we made it to the end of this video. I hope to see you all on Monday and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.